Welcome back to another video guys here at Hostways Exotics. Today we're going to be feeding the garter snake, the Thanophis sertalis. So today I have a toad for this guy and not a mouse this week. So we want to switch it up, give him a little bit of variety in his diet. And these guys are actually toad specialists in general. So they are rear fanged, mildly venomous snakes, but their venom is mostly to help with toes and things like that more or less in that nature not really effective against us just like hognose snakes and the other rear fang snakes like that but anyways here we go let me grab my little toad friend here and we'll get started with this video we'll throw him down right here. so i don't know if you see him right here in the back guys Only thing he has to do is just move. And that garter snake, since that iron species, they're more focused on movement and smell. So he's going to pick them up in just a second if this thing decides to move at all. Generally, when toads are afraid, they just kind of be paused and kind of stuck there for a second. So we'll see what the old garter snake does. As soon as he notices him, he's going to go right after him, though. That's why the mice are just so, they're so good for them because it gives them a little bit of enrichment in their environment and give them something to kind of use their brains to think about doing and have a chase after a little bit more than what the toads do, in my opinion. But, you know, he's sniffing around. Uh-oh. You see that? Uh-oh, look at there. Got him. Got him. Guard snake don't play, man. Go ahead and eat him on up. Well, they got a whole mouthful right now. It's pretty awesome how they eat these guys. I mean, because whenever they eat the frogs, frogs typically will blow up to try to make themselves bigger, make them more harder to swallow. But, like I said before, there are rear fang snakes, and they use their rear fangs to help pop these toes to get the excess air out of them, so that way they can eat them. He's going to gulf this guy down in no time. But I will say a lot of people think that these are wild caught toads, which they are, and which is also true that you're not supposed to feed your snakes and stuff stuff from outside. But with this particular species of garter snake, this is a wild caught snake. So he has all the natural things that he needs to live and thrive on animals that live outside. So I do quarantine these frogs for at least a week or so and feed them up, give them some good protein and all so that way they can get a little bit bigger and stronger, make sure they're good to go there's not anything wrong with them physically because i'm not going to feed them something that's you know infected or sick or anything like that so i always inspect all these animals before i do give them to them but as you can see he's already like halfway done he's gonna keep on inhaling Pretty crazy to sit here and watch this though. Cause he sat he's literally about munched this whole thing down. Just like that. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more awesome content learning about reptiles and amphibians. Cause I do post more videos than just these feeding videos that I think are pretty awesome. We're gonna be have a water moccasin and copperhead comparison video here in a couple weeks, so this is going to be a pretty awesome video to be putting out, and I'm going to have some more product review videos coming out soon. I got a new product on the way. I got to get reshipped back out to my house. There was a problem with address and shipping. So we're going to do some more Reptile Mister product reviews, things like that, of that nature. And tell me what you guys want to see down in the comments as well. Like, I know some people comment and say they want to see more care guide videos. I will definitely be doing that coming up soon. I'm going to be working on some scripts tonight after I get done feeding, well, filming this video then you know we'll go from there because i am a one-man show i do everything you see here at host waves by myself from the rat breeding projects the mouse breeding projects 
all the snakes, all the cleaning, all the water refills, sanitization. If there's any health issues, I take care of them. I'm pretty much a certified veterinarian almost with most species of reptiles because I work with them hands-on from working at underground reptiles and working at different places and just through my experience through college because you know i don't know if you guys know i do have a degree in biology so that is one of the main reasons why i work with reptiles and that's how i actually found out about my love for reptiles because i took my first herpetology class while attending uh, my college here at georgia southern and that's when i found my love for these guys the venomous snake thing came a little bit later on down the line, but, you know, yeah, what it is. And he is all the way down to the legs now. And he's going to go ahead and finish that off in no time. I've had this guard snake for probably three years now. So he's about three years old. I mean, this is fully grown garter snake. He's in real good health. I had a little bout with snake fungal disease, but I cured that and got him back looking in great shape now. So he's all healthy. There's a real awesome pattern on his actual scales. I like looking at that. Pretty awesome. Well, so he is finishing up with his meal for this week. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the video as always so we'll catch you guys on the next episode of hostways exotics don't forget to like and subscribe